Okay, so we added our guns in and we could shoot our zombies and everything, but right now it's a little dull without sound effects. So let's get our sound effects plugged in. First thing I'm gonna do is come over to our assets, right click, create a new folder. I'm gonna call this one 04 underscore sound. And in here, I'll create a new folder, sound effects. And in this folder is where I'll be putting all of my sound effects. This is freesound.org. This is a great resource for downloading sound effects that are royalty free. You could search sounds up here. For example, gunshot. You find one that you like, download it, put it into your sound effects folder. Now I already have some sound effects, so I'm just gonna load them in here. The sound effects I'm gonna add in first are gonna be on our player, because we need some footsteps. I'm gonna add in a new FSM, and I'm gonna call it that, footsteps. Now in our footsteps, we're gonna have three states. We're gonna have the silence state, and we're gonna have the footstep state, and we're gonna have the gap state. Okay, so the first thing that we want is a git axis vector. And we're gonna be storing not a vector, but a magnitude, which is a float variable. And we'll just call this magnitude. And the magnitude, what it is, is a float that goes between negative one to one. Because when you're using axis vectors, that's not a binary state of just a player pressing a button. Therefore, joysticks or other movement controls where even if you are just pressing a button, the axis vector reads it as how long you're pressing it for. And so the duration of the press dictates how high or low that number goes. So the longer you hold that button, the higher it'll go. So we're gonna put in a float compare. I'm gonna put it after this. So if our magnitude is over 0.25, which is to say that if the player is holding their move keys in any direction, long enough to exceed this 0.25, then we'll do something. So we're gonna do greater than in this custom event next. I'm gonna add that in and that'll fire off to make a footstep sound. We're getting this one error here, but you could just shut this up by saying move underscore V3 and we just won't do anything with it right now. And we want this to be running every frame. I'm gonna copy these actions and I'm gonna paste them into the footstep state. Now here, Instead of doing greater than, we're going to do less than, and it'll go here to try again, and it'll send back here. So that way, if the player isn't moving, we're going to send back to the silent state. But if they are here, what we're going to want to do is an array get random. And we're gonna come over to the variables and we're gonna make a new array. We'll call this footstep sound effects. And it'll be an audio clip array. So here's where we could put in our footstep sound effects. So I'm just gonna hop over to my footsteps folder and you can see I have six individual footstep sound effects. So I can put in six and I'll drag them in here. Okay, now over here, we'll check our footstep sound effects and whichever random clip it grabs, it'll store in a new value called random footstep and we'll have no repeat and then we'll do an audio play. Okay, now this says game object requires an audio source component. That is a component that your objects need to play sounds. We don't have one yet, so we're just gonna go ahead and press this button to automatically add it. And there it is, the audio source component gets added. So the one shot clip that we wanna play is the random footstep. And then for our finished event, we're gonna have loop event. I'm gonna add that, and it's gonna send down here to gap where we'll have a wait state that when it finishes, we'll send back up to make another footstep. 
Now the thing is our player controller has a walk and a run state. So what we could do is we could change this time depending on whether or not we're running. So we'll call this variable footstep gap. And then we're gonna do a git fsm bool. Put this up here. We're gonna be checking our player movement. And this variable doesn't exist on our player movement fsm yet, but we're gonna create it. We're gonna say it'll be called run key pressed. Okay, and I'm gonna store that value, name it the same thing. And then I'm gonna put in a convert bool to float. And we're gonna be converting our run key pressed to change our footstep gap. So if the run key pressed is false, it'll be 0.25 seconds between each gap. But if the run key is pressed, then it'll be 0.1 seconds for each gap. And actually, I just remembered that it isn't in the player movement FSM. Actually, it's going to be in the player speed FSM. So let's head over to the player speed. So in our player speed FSM, these get key downs are responsible for whether or not our character is running or crouching. In this get key down for left shift, that tells the character to run, which sends off over here. So in our walk state, we can have it also store the results of whether or not this left shift is being pressed in a new variable. I'm just gonna paste this in, run key pressed. So whenever we're here, this result's gonna be false because if it was true, it would send off to the next state, run. And here we could put in a set bool value and we could set this run key pressed as true. So whenever we're here, this bool value is in fact true. All right, let's check how that works out. All right, you can hear me walking around. And when I decide to run, you can hear that the footsteps speed up. Walking, running. All right, sounds good. Let's add some more sound effects. Let's add in that click. So in our weapons, let's go to the pistol and come over here to click. We're gonna put in a audio play action. Okay, we can add an audio source component to this. And the one shot clip we want in here will be from our sound effects, empty click. And the finished event for it will be our finished event. I'm gonna copy this action and we could paste it into our machine gun as well. And adding the audio source. Let's, let's see how this sounds. Okay, I'm gonna grab this pistol and let's change the amount of ammo it has to five. So when I fire off, I have two more shots left and then this is my last shot. So now, there we go. Empty gun sound. Cool. Let's add in some gunfire sound effects. So in pistol, in our shoot, we're gonna put in this audio play right at the top. And instead of wait for end of clip, we're gonna uncheck it this time. And from our sound effects, we'll add in this pistol fire. And honestly, for now, I'm just gonna copy this and put it into the machine gun one as well. Let's see how these sound. All right, let's add some sounds to these zombies. For the zombies, we can add in a new FSM, sound effects, let's edit that, and we'll toss in an audio play, and an array get random, and the array get random is gonna go first. We'll make a new array variable called zombie hiss, hisses, and it'll be a audio clip array. Now let's see how many zombie hiss sounds we have. We have seven, so I'm gonna type in seven and I'll just drag in each of these. And what we'll do is set it up so that they randomly fire off one of these every few seconds. And then later on when they're chasing us, 
they're constantly making sounds. Okay, so the array is zombie hisses, and we're going to store that random hiss in a new variable called random hiss. We'll put in no repeat, and we'll add the audio source component. And this finished event will be called loop event. We'll add that send down here. This is where we'll have a wait, and this is where it'll be play sound. In this wait, we'll have a random wait between two and three seconds, and we'll have this loop back up as well. Okay. And then we'll have a state over here where it is the same exact thing. I'm gonna copy those and paste it in here. And we'll call this state chasing. And we're gonna add this and send it to itself. So it just keeps looping through this over and over. And for this, we'll add a new transition. We could just call this update and it'll be a global transition. And in our zombie FSM, when we're chasing the player, down here, we're going to put in a send event, game object FSM, and we're going to be sending off to the sound effects, update. So whenever we're chasing the player, this will tell our sound effects to start looping like crazy. And in this one shot clip, we want to put our random hiss sound. In our audio source component, what we could do is crank up this spatial blend from 2D to 3D. It's going to be a cacophony of zombie sound effects that will be relatively subtle, but you should notice that it ramps up as soon as we start getting their attention. Alright. So now, so if you have headphones in or if you have a stereo set up in front of you, you can see that when they're all to our left, we can hear them to our left. When they're to our right, we can hear them to our right. They're in front of us, it sounds like they're in front of us. Cool. Pretty disturbing. All right. What other sound effects do we got? Oh, and these flesh hits. We could put in some flesh hits on our weapons. So if we hit something in this deal damage state, we could put in an array get random. And we'll have a new array called flesh hit. And it'll all be audio clips. And how many do we have? Three. So we're going to put in three. This one, this one, and this one. And then let's actually make sure we call this flesh hits, plural. And then we'll store the value as the flesh hit sound. And we'll do no repeats. And then we'll do an audio play right after that. And it'll be playing our flesh hit sound. And we will not be waiting for the end of that clip. So let's see if we get some juicy sounds when we fire at these zombies. And actually, you know what? Let's put it in our machine gun as well. So I'm going to go ahead and come over to deal damage. I'm just going to copy these actions and paste them into here. Move them all the way up here. Let's see how this works out. It's about to get noisy. Uh, lastly, what we'll do is we'll make a sound for when you pick up a weapon. So if we go to our player, go into our pickups, in this get pickup, we'll have an audio play. And it'll be this pickup ammo sound effect. And we're not going to wait for that end of clip. So let's see what that sounds like when we just grab something. Okay, right here. Nice. Perfect. 